I just picked these up because I was desperate um, at the Dollar General and they came because they came with erasers on the back and I could use those. And so these are retractables pencils and they're point, uh, set point sevens. So it's a little darker. These guys are both the same. Um, the other thing I like to use are these guys. Oh, the name just escapes me. But you um, you can shade with them. See, I got some leftover black on there. It's really wonderful. And then I also have some thicker pencils, and you can also get those from the Space Guy. Um, the nibs are thicker, but they're they're different hardness. So the softer uh, you can get a darker shadow with. So that's those. So this is it. The cool thing about drawing is that's all you need. You can travel and you can go anywhere and take these. Oh, here's a new thing I discovered. Um, it's a pencil by Faber-Castell eraser. This is so cool. And I can get in there and erase like that. So cool. Yeah. There's some great products out there. All right. Let's get going on this. I'm going to start with drawing my face with one of my fatter tips. And what I want to do is this is our granddaughter. She's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to try and draw this. Ah, this will be interesting. So um, here we go. Now her face is a little on the angle. So we got to draw an oval. It's always an oval. Okay, and you can measure if you wish. These are centimeters on here, so it's about 16 centimeters across. So halfway is where you want to start. So that's, uh, ooh, let's see here. Is the halfway mark and so I gotta pretend I'm looking straight on it I'll do that a straight line right across and then and that's your this is your forehead your hair up here this is where the eyes will sit your eyes are actually halfway down your face so, uh, and then you half this space. That's where the nose will go. I'm just eyeballing. Oop. That's going to be a little short. That's four. That's five. Well, I can come down a little bit. I'll take this line out. Okay, so this space here is almost nine centimeters so I'll go 4.5 just under 4.5 so a little bit lower if you're if you're drawing kind of cartoon characters and you don't care about realism you know you can do it this way and just some of it okay if the eye is lopsided or you get the eyes too big it doesn't matter just have fun with it it's really fun okay and so now I'm going to take this space between this line and the end of the chin and take it halfway and draw another line so I half it again oh gosh I don't know how to half today well we want to go see how far off I was Mm, four and a half so it should be two and a quarter gosh am I ever off so I will draw that right here okay so there we go I am going to turn this because it'll be easier to draw it if it's facing me even though like her face is on an angle and um uh, yeah, makes it way, way easy. And let's go this here. And you can always change the shape. Like I'll probably come down because her face is a little longer and uh, come down like that. But we'll use her for our model right now. Now she's got, now 
cool thing is you start with this. You, you see that middle dot there? That's where we're going to put the nose. So we can just draw a circle where the mouth's going to be. You could just put a little line so you know where they're at. Now here you can measure this and your eyes, this, the width of your eye is the same distance as between your eyebrows here, your eye and your eye. So, um, and I just found out too, the distance supposedly between your eye and this line is about the same as the size of your eye. Hmm. So let's take a look at what we can do here. That's if you're going for realism. If you're not going for realism, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but try to stick within it. So this is 11, 11 centimeters. So if we go like that. Oh, I hate these numbers. I should have made it bigger. Hmm. Um, so maybe two and so there's there and so then we've got eight in the middle so let's give it two and three quarters All right, so there's kind of an idea there. Let's see, I think we could go. Usually I eyeball it and, you know, as you're going along, you can really mess around with it. So I'm gonna just draw the eyes first because that's always more fun. Okay, so don't worry about being perfect. Nobody is perfect. Gonna turn it so I can get a better angle on the dangle. Oh boy. Low battery. Great. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can do here. See how much I can get in. All right. So you just kind of lightly sketch. I'm gonna measure this again. So we've got three. And we got two. I'll make her eyes a little bigger. All righty. And we have to stop. Still going, didn't stop. All right. I was by the beginning is daunting. So I have this habit of making my eyes lopsided. Okay, so uh, let's see. You can see this is actually wider here than this side. So you can always add a little it's not a big deal. Anyways, then you can do a, like a marble right in the middle of the eye like that. And another marble. And you can, uh, depending on how realistic you want to be, like if you notice her eyes, the dark part of the iris comes down and it's right at the bottom uh, lid of the eye. And then half is, well, about a third of her iris is covered up by um, her upper lid and her eyelashes. So we will, we will do that. Let's see, I've got to make this.
this one. Let's get it. So once you've drawn that round, you can go in and fine tune it. See here? And then you grab your handy dandy Tombow eraser and you can go like this and you can clean it up. And I'll do this one too. So I'm leaving a little bit of a gap underneath her iris. And there we go. Like that. Okay. So now the nose. The nose goes like this. So you're going to have this little thing here. all that. I don't need it. All right. So it's this funny little shape that you do. So her, her nose comes down like this. And the easy way to do it is start with the nostrils first. And it's a little half moon and another little half moon. Okay. And, and then you can do this. And for her, she doesn't really have it on this side because it's, it's in shadow. So we'll just do that. Uh, and then I, I like to do like a bump here. I'll just draw that. And I can use that for highlight later. Now, what they've got under here, there's a, you can draw like a little leaf shape right under her nose. And we do shading. I'll put that. You know, it looks really weird, doesn't it? Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do under there, come up. And she has got a beautiful mouth. All right. I'm not as good as I'd like to be on the mouth situation, but I have learned some interesting things. And the end of the mouth should line up with the iris. So there and there. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so I am there. Excuse me, because I haven't gotten a lot of practice in on mouths, so it takes me a long time to get one right. So we've got kind of the shape there. Because her face, oh, that part of her mouth is going to look smaller anyways from this side. If that makes sense. All right. So. And your upper lip is smaller than your lower lip. There we go. 